this image is provided by Bible CA. It's in Canada, and um, I really like this this image, you know. Um, and it's it's studying on the image of God, right, or the trim, Trinity. So where God is an image, God is a spirit, um, and God is the uh, corrector or uh, comforter, right? So we have three stages of God, or uh, three forms of God, I think would be probably... A better way to describe this and you have the top as the father and you have next the son who came next uh, where God came down from heaven and was born uh, as a baby right uh, that died upon a cross uh, to pay for your sins and open up a body that you could enter into a perfect body, a just body. And uh, after uh, he had ascended in Acts 1, you'll see where uh, the Spirit descended and laid on them tongues um, with fire, right, in Acts. So we see three... Uh, representations the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit and people like to use water uh, they they want to say one is um, gas right? and uh, one is a solid being the Son uh, and wine is a liquid, right? Um, and if you're okay with that, I'm okay with that too. It, you know, that's if that's your learning. Uh, I had difficult with that because which one of these is the water, right? That was my difficulty with that understanding. So, I looked for a different understanding. I went to Genesis 3, and I started searching Genesis 1, and I realized something. God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form, right? And he looked upon the deepness of the waters, and then the land comes up, and then earth. Anyway, let's concentrate on that waters, right? Because in that chapter, he goes from most important and in the top is waters. So the Father would represent those waters. And those waters got divided um, in Genesis 1. And then you have the Son. If waters can be divided, why is it not possible for God to divide Himself and the Father to be above and the Son to be below? Right Now, on Genesis chapter 2, it says that God made a mist to water the, the garden or the earth. Now, we have rain droplets. Now, we had one solid foundation of water, and you have the sun that came forth, right, from the Father, and He and the Father are one, right, playing different roles, and then we see the representation of the Comforter or the Holy Spirit that is little droplets, right, uh, that would represent uh, the little uh, drop of Holy Spirit 
that resides in each one of us. It's, you know, the Son fully held the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was not held back at all from Him, right? Uh, so the Bible says. But I find it interesting that God lives within us. And on the on the chapter 2 of Genesis, we have God that now uh, causes it to rain upon the earth in the image of God. After the creation of mankind, who was brought in the image of God. So we saw that in the physical, but we have a spiritual understanding of that too. And... I just can I can get behind that. I can I can it it makes sense that God represented himself as waters and he divided the waters and one part is the sun not became the sun because the sun always was and one part being the sun and the holy spirit uh, being the comforter that came from God, right? Because all three were in the beginning. All three are God. All three are one body. They're just in different forms. And each has a different role. And this has helped me to understand the Trinity. So, I hope this has blessed you. Um... I've been working on this all day, trying to get the audio right, and it just stinks. So I hope this time it's much better. God bless you, and thank you.